All right, so last lesson we looked at addition and subtraction. Today we're looking at exercise 1E, which is on multiplying small whole numbers. So multiplying numbers. We still use a very similar algorithm. Remember, what does algorithm mean? Yeah? Um, it means like you pretty much... Yeah? Taylor, do you, do you think you can help Georgina out? Yeah, the way you figure that, is that what you're going to say, Georgina? Yeah. Yeah, the way you figure out a question. So in this case, I'm also writing my numbers vertically and writing one after un, underneath the other. So I've got 31 times by 4. Can anyone tell me what do I need to do first? Yes. Um, you start by doing the 1 first. Perfect, I'm looking at the 1. So I multiply the 1s. So what's 1 times 4 or 4 times 1? 4. 4? Am I done? No. What do I do now? Three times four. Three times four. Now I multiply it this way. Three times four gives me twelve. Now am I done? Yes. Yeah? Yes. It looks pretty good to me. Thirty-one times four. We multiply by four and we get 124. What about this question on the right? It's a little bit more tricky. Yes. Um I kind of did one of the bits, but I don't know how to do the rest. Mm -hmm. I did seven times seven equals forty-nine. Equals forty-nine? Yeah. Yep, 7 times 7 is 49. Are we happy with that? Yep, so we got 49. Do I just write 49 here? No. No, why do I not do that? Um, you put the 9 in the bottom. Yep. And then you put the 4 um, on the top. Perfect. I might put the 4 over here. Now what's next? So we did the 1, so what's next? 4 times 7 times 9. Yep, we multiply those two. And plus 4. Perfect. What's 7 times 9? 63. 63. Now what's 63 plus 4? So I'm going to write 7 and then write the 6 over here. Now we're done. No, I have to multiply the 7 and the 1. So 1 times 7 gives me 7 plus 6. Remember, i got a 6 over here. 13. So I'm going to write 13 over here. Do I have any questions about that one? Yeah? I'll give you guys some time to copy that down. In the meantime, I'm going to write something. So this is the last question I'm going to give you guys. It's 3 times bracket 7 plus 8 closed bracket. Now, what does bid mass stand for? What's the first thing in bid mass, let's say? Okay. Perfect. I have to do the brackets first. That's what the B stands for, brackets. So if you're using that method, we can say, all right, so I've got 7 plus 8. What's 7 plus 8? 15. Okay, I'm going to write equals to 15, but I've still got this three, three times at the start. So I can do 3 times 15. What does that give me? 45. 3 times 15 is 45. Okay, okay. Does anyone have any different method of doing this? Can I get everyone to copy down these, these two words? Thank you. Distributive law. It's a weird word. But I want you guys to write down distributive law. Yes. That's what this is. That's what this is. So copy that down. Thank you very much. So what Taylor's just said is another way we can do it is we can write, instead of writing three times and then what's in the bracket, what if we multiply everything in the bracket by three instead and then add it together? So I can say three times seven plus three times eight. Do you guys see where I got that from? Yeah. So I've got three times seven over here. And that comes from these two numbers there. And I've also got 3 times 8, which is these two numbers over here. Yeah? And then we'll give that a go by solving that. What is 3 times 7? 3 times 7 is 21. Thank you very much. That's all right. 21. And what's 3 times 8? 24. Let's add those numbers together. What's 21 plus 24? 45. You guys notice we got the same answer as before? Yeah. So this is what we call distributive law, and you can choose which method you want to use. All right, so if you've already copied down these notes and you understand it, do you have any questions? Please feel free to get started on exercise 1E questions, and that's on page 23 for the textbook. For the questions, they start on page 26. So questions start at page 26, but please make sure you finish copying these notes down first.